This video will guide you through the basic steps of setting up the Lightmaster Pro L478 series for ambient measurements. The Sekonic Lightmaster Pro L478 series measures ambient, flash, or both types of illumination at the same time, depending on how you have the meter set. It can measure these types of lighting in either incident or reflective light measuring modes. But you may be wondering just what is ambient light anyway? Ambient light is the light that surrounds a subject or environment. It's the existing or available light that's in a scene. It's referred to many times as natural light or light that evenly illuminates a scene from no apparent direction. It can be indoor lighting, a bright sunny day, a foggy day, or even city lights at night. So basically, it's any kind of light that is pre-existing. It's not artificial lighting that has been set up, such as electronic flash, to modify the existing lighting conditions. You can measure ambient or flash using one of two measuring methods with the L478. Incident mode or reflected mode. Incident mode measures the light falling on the subject and uses the lumosphere, the white dome, to measure the light volume. Incident mode is the most reliable method for measuring scenes because it reads only the volume of light and not the characteristics of the light, such as texture, color, reflectivity, or translucent qualities. Reflective mode measures the light reflecting off the subject and uses the optical spot attachment to measure the light reflecting back to the camera. Unfortunately, reflective measurements can be inaccurate depending on what they are measuring. For example, if we measure a subject with a bright background, the result would be an overexposed background because the meter only measures the subject and not the entire scene. So why use reflected mode measurements at all? When used correctly, reflected measurements, especially with a five degree spot attachment or less, offer the greatest exposure accuracy and better understanding of where the highlights, shadows, and midtones are in the scene. It's essential for landscape, commercial, nature, architectural, industrial photography, and whenever it's not possible to get close to the subject. Incident mode is ideal for shooting situations when we can get close to our subject and measure the light as it falls on the subject. If you're shooting a portrait or a three-dimensional object, the lumosphere should be in the upright position. It will measure 220 degrees of light falling on the subject. This is especially important because it measures the light wrapping around the subject. If you're measuring a subject that is two-dimensional, it's not important for the light to wrap around the subject because it's flat. In this case, you can reposition the lumosphere in the retracted position and the L478 will only measure 180 degrees of the light. The L478 also has a swivel head for convenient and easy viewing of the screen in awkward measuring situations. The L478 series has six different ambient measuring modes that you can pick from depending on what type of shooting you're doing. Starting from the main menu, tap the icon in the upper left hand corner this could be any one of several measuring mode icons. When you tap the icon, the menu changes to the measuring mode selection screen. Here you can choose up to six different ambient measuring modes. Let's review them individually. The first section in the measuring mode selection screen is the T mode or shutter priority mode. If you tap this mode, the screen goes back to the main menu and the meter is set for ambient shutter priority measuring mode. You can change the value of the shutter speed or the ISO by touching the up and down arrows or sliding your finger over the icon to display the shutter speed or ISO you want. When you take a measurement, the aperture value changes, but the shutter speed and the ISO or film speed remains the same. After measurement, changing the shutter speed or ISO will also change the measured aperture value. This mode is selected when maintaining a shutter speed is important in the image. If you tap the measuring mode icon, it will take you back to the measuring mode selection screen. Here you can select F mode or aperture priority mode. If you tap this mode, the screen goes back to the main menu and the meter is set for ambient aperture priority measuring mode. You can change the value of the aperture or the ISO by touching the up and down arrow keys or sliding your finger over the icon to display the aperture or ISO you want. When you take a measurement, the shutter speed value changes but the aperture and ISO or film speed remains the same. After measurement, changing the aperture or ISO will also change the measured shutter speed value. This mode is selected when depth of field is important in the image. The third selection is T plus F mode or shutter plus aperture priority mode. You can change the value of the aperture or the shutter speed by touching the up and down arrows 
or slide your finger over the icon to display the aperture or shutter speed you want. When you take a measurement in this mode, the shutter speed value and the aperture remain the same, but the ISO film speed changes. After measurement, changing the shutter speed or aperture will also change the measured ISO value. This mode is selected when depth of field and shutter speed are both important in the image. The fourth section is the HD Cine mode. You can change the value of the shutter speed, ISO, or frames per second by touching the up and down arrows or sliding your finger over the icon to display the value you want to set. When you take a measurement in this mode, the shutter speed, ISO, and frames per second value remain the same, but the aperture changes according to the measurement. After measurement, changing the shutter speed or ISO will also change the measured aperture value. This mode is selected when using an HD Cine camera such as a DSLR with video capture capabilities. The fifth section is the Cine mode. You can change the value of the shutter angle, ISO, or frames per second by touching the up and down arrows or slide your finger over the icon to display the value you want to set. When you take a measurement in this mode, the shutter speed setting is replaced by shutter angle. The shutter angle, ISO, and frames per second remain the same, but the aperture changes according to the measurement. After measurement, changing the frames per second, ISO, or shutter angle will also change the measured aperture value. This mode is selected when using Cine cameras such as Blackmagic, RED, Airy, or Canon. The last measuring mode for ambient light is a luminance mode or light intensity. It can be displayed in lux or foot candle measuring values in incident mode depending on your needs. You can change the value from lux to foot candle or vice versa in the custom settings menu. When you take a measurement, the foot candle or lux value is displayed on the main screen. When you switch from the incident mode to reflective mode by attaching the optional five degree viewfinder, the measurement value is displayed in candela per square meter or foot lambert depending on what custom setting you selected. This mode is selected for a variety of uses including industrial applications, video productions, government regulations, stadium lighting, manufacturing, and much more. To learn more about HD Cine Cine modes, custom settings, and other functions and features that the Lightmaster Pro L478 series has to offer, watch the next video in the Quick Start video series.